that this wonderful dream of a socialist world yeah. uh, doesn't work, will never work, um, uh, and the, the unions will control things. And I have to say there are quite a few organisations who call themselves lobbying organisations now, who when you look into their articles of associations, what mm. they say they do, I think journalists like you, Maya, should start looking into what's happening because there are some very sinister extreme left-wing things going on in our country and that they're trying to lobby government and companies for. And yeah. my concern is that that is the line that they, the extreme left, which is fr frankly the majority of the Labour Party now, are going to try to push us down. And I, I think that I think the public are, are more savvy than that. And they know that that isn't what they want. Yeah, and this I absolutely agree with you, because uh, there is um, until actually it's probably 70s and 80s, uh, the hardcore ideologues on the left were the student activists, the younger Jeremy Corbyn's, and some of them became politicians or in the clothing of politicians, but they're still essentially student activists. But the people that you mentioned, these are the people who, uh, you know, whilst they used to be the, the hippies on university campuses, they now control big institutions. And some of these institutions are supposed to be so-called capitalist companies. The lo lobby is uh, certain of uh, big corporations. People, a lot of young people still assume that um, co corporatism and capitalism are the same thing. Um, we now have corporations being actually quite left wing. We have, you know, whether you want to call it woke or progressive or socialist, whatever it is, uh, you have uh, charities, uh, really left wing. Now we have a lot of institutions, trade unions went from being just being pro working class into actually being Marxist. It's a bit, the whole thing is a bit, a bit weird. So every institution establishment is now being controlled by some sort of ideology. And you're absolutely right that uh, we have to speak out against it. And you guys, of course, in Parliament have to try your best to put through the right sort of legislation. Don't over-legislate, but... You know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I do, you know, the, that is an issue that when we have, you know, the Blair Brown government, um, we, I did feel that we over-legislated. Um, yeah. But we've got to remember about Marxism and socialism. You know, they sound fantastic, but, you know, Karl Marx and his friend Engels, you know, were two... Uh, this uh, disgruntled upper middle class mm. university students who sat together and came up with this uh, this idea because they, they you know that they, they seem to me have issues with their father. Yeah. What we need to when we look <laughs> at um, the people that are in uh, in you know uh, leading the Labour Party, whether they are officially in the Labour Party or yeah. not, are upper middle class privileged people who have got time on their hands they can, they can afford not to have to go to work they can afford to go to university uh, and and they are telling the the working classes the people that actually i represent um that that this is this is some you know dreamy utopia and yeah. um you know uh, people should um should read a bit more of their george orwell i think